Hi folks, so this is question 10. So <coughs> um so people in Ireland anyway, some people are own negative. So 8% of people are own negative of the population. It doesn't, doesn't say uh, it does say Ireland. So um 8% are own negative. So if there's 10 people chosen at random then what's the probability that the 10th person um is the third own negative person chosen out of the 10? So if we're to break this down a little bit, if you if you choose nine people, um, and then the tenth person, so what really what we want to happen is we want uh, two of these to be O negative. So you want two of them to be o, of the nine to be O negative, and then you want the tenth person to be. Um, O negative as well. So you want two of the nine to be O negative, and then you want the tenth person to also be O negative. So we must use the Bernoulli trial uh, formula for this. So um, in order for two out of the nine to get the probability of two out of nine, you must use this formula. So it's n choose r, and then it's the positive outcome uh, to the power of r, and the negative out of what you don't want then to the power of n minus r so that's just it so you, you should have seen that before so n choose r anyway so there's nine people and we want two of them to be o negative so this is for we're using this for the first nine then um the probability then of them being o negative okay if you look at this here the eight percent so eight percent as a decimal is 0 0.08 so it's times 0 0.08 and then um, r is 2 here and then we so if the probability that they are O negative 0 0.08 you do 1 take away 0 0.08 and you get 0 0.92 that's the probability that they're not O negative so that's q here and that will be to the power of uh, 9 minus 2 which is 7 so that's the probability that two of the first nine chosen are O negative, and then you must multiply that by the probability that just the ten person, that just one person is O negative. So the probability that one person is O negative is just 0 0.08. So you're just multiplying all of those things by each other. So nine choose two, 0 0.08 to the power of two, 0 0.92 to the power of seven, and 0 0.08, you're multiplying all those things together. So when you put that in the calculator then, you should get 0 0.0103. And they want it to four decimal places there to say. So you're done. So that's it for the first part. Second part then, five donors give blood. So what's the probability that at least one of them donates uh, O negative blood? All right, so at least one. So at least one means that one person, two people, people three four or five will all count here so zero if zero people that doesn't work for us okay so zero is the only one that doesn't work here if it's any of the others then it works so what we're going to do is we're going to do one take away the probability that zero people are O negative because it'll be easier to uh, work that out so the probability that zero people are O negative. So think about it. The probability that zero people are O negative, you can just use the formula there. So you can just use five choose zero for zero people. And then it's um, still going to be 0 0.08. That's probability that the R O negative to the power of zero, because R is zero here. So remember the formula is N choose R, P to the power of R, Q to the power of N minus R. Um, so Q comes next, so it'll be 0 0.92, and it'll be 5 take away 0, so 5 take away 0 is 5, like that. So we can do 1 take away all of that. So you can just work, you can just work it, this out first, and then take it away from 1. So if you work that out separately, you'll get 0 0.659. one five and we're rounding that off again and then if you just um take that away from one 
So you should get 0 0.3409. So that's when you round it off. And they wanted it again to four decimal places, it says there in the question. So that's it. All right, so next part. So find the minimum number of blood donors required so that the probability that at least one of them is type O negative is greater than 0 0.97. So if you think back up here, this is the way we did the last part. This was for at least one of them being O negative as well. And, but we knew here that there was five altogether. We don't know how many here altogether. But we do know that we're trying to find what it is for that's greater than 0 0.97. So we don't know what the n is here. In here we put in 5. So we're going to write the same thing again really. But we're going to put in an n instead of the 5. And then at the end we're going to let, let, let it all be kind of greater than 0 0.97. So we're going to get an equation. So it'll be 1 take away and then n choose 0 because it's still the same thing, it's still for at least one. So this worked the last time, so it'll work again. Um, 0 0.08 to the power of zero. And then it's 0 0.92 to the power of n take away zero. So that's gonna be n. And that we want it, n, we want all of that thing there to be greater than 0 0.97 so we want the minimum for which it'll be greater than 0 0.97 right so here then um, n choose 0 that ju oh, that just ends up being 1 n cho anything to choose 0 is 1 and this anything to the power of 0 here is 1 as well so they're both just and they're both just 1 so really all we get is 1 take away 0 0.92 the power of n is greater than 0 0.97. If you move over the 1 to the other side, it becomes a minus 1. So we end up getting minus 0 0.03 when you take away 1 from that. And here we get minus 0 0.92 to the power of n. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to multiply across by minus 1 just to turn them both into positive so be careful remember the, the rules of inequalities when you multiply across by minus 1 you must change the sign so it's going to be 0 0.92 to the power of n is less than 0 0.03 and then we need to use logs then so if the variable is in the power you have to use logs so you can just use ln 0 0.92 to the power of n is less than ln 0 0.03. I'll just continue it up here. Um, so n, you can bring the n down in front of the log then. That's the um, what's good about using the logs here. So n ln 0 0.92 um, is less than ln 0 0.03. So n is less than ln 0 0.03 over ln 0 0.92. So we can go to calculator then. And actually, I should have changed the sign there. You may have spotted because log of anything less than 1 will be negative. So therefore, you need to change because you're dividing across by a negative there. So the chat, the sign will actually change back to a greater than again. Uh, so just watch out for that. So you should get then that n is greater than 42.05. And it continues on. So if n is greater than that, so it, it needs to be a natural number. So therefore, n has to be greater than 43. And uh, so, yeah, so that's the minimum number of blood donors because you can't have 42.05 blood donors. You can't have 0 0.05 of a person. So therefore, uh, you must round it up to 43 people. So that's that part. Right, so for part B, so 
we're just working out expected value so our e to e to the x um, so just a home so he knows that 80 percent of the cases a repair will fix the problem and the repair will cost 70 euro so we're going to be putting up both of those things in anyway if the repair does not work then a new part will be bought costing 150 euro and an additional 80 euro so really that's um 230 euro altogether so um so new new part so not fixing basically is 230 um so the probability of it working uh yeah is 0 0.8 so the probability of repair working is 0 0.8 so the probability of it not working is 0 0.2 because it's one take away 0 0.8 um yeah so expected value then will just be so it's the probability that the repair will work so 0 0.8 and you must multiply that by 70 because that's the cost of the repair and then we add on the probability that it uh, will not work yes yeah, so the probability that it won't work is 0 0.2 and you multiply that by the cost of it then so the cost of it would be 230 if it doesn't work so that's it and then uh, you can just go to the calculator again so it's going to be uh, just 102 euro so that's the expected value then Right, so the last part then. So an insurance company, it pays out this much for uh, if a policyholder dies and it pays out this much if the holder becomes disabled. So the insurance company has calculated it in general. In any given year, the probability of debt is this. So it's very small there, 0 0.0001. And probability of disability is 0 0.002. Okay, so we can work out the expected value there again just for that. Um, so that'll be uh, the probability that someone uh, dies is 0 0.0001. So you multiply that by the, um, yeah, the 120,000. And then we're going to add on the probability of a disability. So that's 0 0.002 multiplied by 40,000 so if you do all that you should get 92 euro um, so 92 euro then is the amount on average that they expect to give out per person um, for the year but there's 18,000 uh, policy holders so if we do 18,000 multiplied by 92 that should give us the total money expected to be paid out. Um, and that should equal, so if you do the calculator there, um, you should get one, six, five six zero 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 so that's a lot of money so it's over a million well it's over a million and a half um euro so uh that's how much they expect to pay out altogether but they want to make a profit of the nine hundred thousand so if they're paying out this much but they want to make a profit of nine hundred thousand so you're gonna have to add on um uh the nine hundred thousand to this so one six five six zero 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 plus nine hundred thousand and that should give us two five 
five, six, zero, zero, zero. Um, so that's amount to be paid out. plus the profit. Right, so if you think about it then, this is the amount then that really they need to generate each year as well. So that is the amount that they'll have to pay out plus all the profit that they want. So that's how much they need to generate all together. That's how much they, they need to bring in completely. So if they need to bring all of that in, but they've all they've got eighteen thousand policyholders. It told us back at the start. Well, if we just divide that by eighteen thousand, that'll tell us how much they need from each of the policyholders. So if they get whatever that amount is from each of the policyholders, then they'll get that amount. So that'll include their profit in it. So they're they're happy then. So if you divide that by eighteen thousand, you'll get uh, one hundred and forty-two. So that's all we need then, uh, so that's it, that's the answer for that, and then that's uh, the last part of the last question on the paper.